Welcome to, I was going to say make him smile. Welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. As you can hear in the background, we have a very, very special show. Everybody asks me, especially when I'm traveling in Europe and in Asia, what is Hawaiian music all about? What is Hawaiian music? So I decided to try to ask my friends from our Make Them Smile program, which plays music at our hospitals here in Hawaii, to come and join us and talk to us a little bit about Hawaiian music. And these three guys who are you are going to meet, John, John, and Manny, are guys who have been friends for 30 and 40 years have been playing forever in backyards for weddings and all sorts of events. So I would like to introduce you to John Porlis, Hi. Manny, hey, Manny, and John. Hi. Welcome Hi. and thank you so much for coming to make him, to Seymour's World. I appreciate it. I can't stop saying Seymour, make him smile because smile. I'm so used to seeing you guys at our program. Well, let me ask John a few questions first. You can cut up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, John. <clears throat> so, John, you've been uh, playing for Make Him Smile for a couple of years now, and I have to say that as one of our premier artists, because you play whenever I ask, and there are times when you even call me and say, hey, Seymour, you got any open uh, dates yeah, yes, I'd like yes, to play? Yes. Tell me what, what makes you want to do that so much. Uh, just uh, the returning of a gift of giving back to community and try to share among my friends and great friends like these guys put our talents together, try to give back. It's, the, it's, it's just a part of just giving back, sharing music throughout, you know, Hawaii, all these years that we get to play. Now we can also give back. And I think, you know, the, the, the idea of defining Hawaiian music, it's not just the music. That giving back is a true peace. It's a gratitude that you are giving back to the people who have helped you right. to, where, to all, where you are today. All these years, yes. Yeah. So wh whatever experience that I've got all these years, um, I just learned all these years to play with the right people, right surroundings, and just a great feeling of sharing with Hawaiian music and the culture, and just about giving back everything that you, it's like gratitude. Yes. You appreciate all those years yes. of playing music, so for me, it's yeah, something real dynamic in oh, my life as, as of now. It's so awesome now. Wonderful. Such now, Manny, uh, yes, I, uh, you have been... You're such a great guitar player, and I've heard you play many, many times at our Make Him Smile sir. events. And I'm, I'm very impressed that you take the time out from your work, from your retirement, from, and from, to come to our Make Him Smile programs. What do you see out of it? Oh, I like to, to see the people, to feel the, the love and the aloha and the appreciation, because my mom always told me, you know, whatever, you got that gift and special stuff that you don't show you gift to, the Lord can take it away. So I try to give all my phenomenal music with, especially John, Kepala and John over here, to so make your Hawaiian, Hawaiian music and also everybody smile, like how you say, make them smile. Make them smile. It's wonderful. Yeah. Now, John, yes, sir. I have a very fond uh, feeling for you because we share something in common. I could never play that instrument, which we're going to talk about in a yes. minute, but you and I both had two knee replacements, okay. I know that, and you said that music has been a part of helping you overcome your knee replacements yeah. and your health. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Well, I used to take uh, blood pressure pills and all that, and I started, after I retired from medicine, I started playing music, and when I started playing music, I go to a doctor and check, they said, yeah, you don't need blood pressure pill. you don't need all this stuff, so I, I'm clean. Isn't and I'm so amazing? happy just from music. And I love to play music, so when I retired, that's the thing I wanted to do. And with this instrument, I've been playing for over 40 years. I used to do the wash tub. Oh, the old wash tub, yeah. Yeah, and we used to play on the ship too. We had a band on the ship. Oh, my. And when we come in from Hawaii, about one day before we come into Hawaii, we have a cookout. And so I see guys in the room playing with the instruments. So when I came home, I got my instrument, I took them on the ship, and we had a cookout, I took them, I brought it out, they said, what is that? I said, it's a bass, and then they brought the instrument out. And we had the chief engineer, the captain, they had their own instrument. And they all came out to they play? They brought the but, instrument oh, out, beautiful. and then the electrician used to have a computer, so he go on the computer and get all the music, and we have the whole group out there singing and playing music. Well, we have to show people your instrument. Okay. What do you call it, Put first of all? This is a, we call it, <laughs> We call it Kakalina. 
gas can. A kakalina gas yeah, can. Because kakalina in Hawaiian is gas. Uh huh. And it's the only base I've ever seen in the world that looks like this. So yeah. how did you come up with this? How did you come up with making well, this into uh, a base? What happened was <clears throat> I do a lot of walking in Nanakuli, and one day I was coming out. I seen these two guys playing music at the beach, and I heard the sound. So I went out there and I looked. I seen this old guy playing a gas can. So, so I got me on gas can, yeah. and I watched him what he did, because I used to just pull back. And I watched that man, he was running his fingers. I went home and tried, and it was happy. Wow, because yeah. the sound of that bass is yeah. amazing. And you play every chord on that bass? You can oh, play? yeah. That and the no, funny thing, my <laughs> friend made this for me, because I played at his party, so he made this special for me. And he put a key here. Yes. And it's just a joke. And when guys tell me, hey, what key are you playing in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing G. Which key? So I just yeah. turn, <laughs> and then turn the key. Yeah. Just put it really down. Turn the key. <laughs> we get it. We get it. And then, Very you know, cool. And a lot of people seen the instrument and they asked me if they can uh, get a gas can. It's hard to get now. You know, I the bet. Mili even the military don't have it anymore. They made wow. the plastic now. They get well. plastic, yeah. Pla uh, yeah. But that's not going to do the yeah, job for you. Yeah. Sounds more dead. Like yeah. Doom, yeah. doom, doom. Wow. Yeah. Well, get yourself set because yeah. we're going to play. Okay. John, tell us about this. Tell Thank now, you. I'm used to bongos, big, big bongo drums. What is this? This is a duplicate of the big bongo drums, but a smaller version. But you get such great sound. I mean, I. Yeah, yeah. You can have different tones. It's the way that you tune the drums also. And you can have different techniques to muff it, but yeah. it's actual the real skin, cowhide. Oh, it's really? like the real duplicate wow. of the big one. That's why it's a miniature, but it's it comes in handy. Good for my recordings uh, when I do studio sessions, yeah. and it's good for live gigs like this. It's well, not too loud, just kind of intimate. Everybody is telling me in my ear, will you please let them play? So I'm supposed to stop talking now. So you guys go ahead. Let's hear something. Go for it. What's the first song that you're doing? Manifest. For me. Okay. What's the song? We in the kid. Go for it. Really gorgeous.
gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, you Thank know, you. we have eight and a half million tourists who come to Hawaii every year. And we fight for our tourists. We fight with the Caribbean. We fight with Mexico. And everybody wants to know, and I'm on a committee that's looking at that, why are so many people coming here? And we talk about all the reasons that people come to Hawaii, you know, the beaches, the sun, the sand, mm, the surf. Yes. But I'll tell you one reason. That the food. And the food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one good reason. It's the music. All yeah. the music. I think when people come here and they go to a restaurant in the evening or they sit or they just take the moment and time to be able to Friend listen, and Danny. It's, yeah. it, it feels wonderful. And that's part of the reason that we are so successful in Hawaii. So you guys, believe it or not, are one of the reasons that we can make Hawaii the tourist destination that it is. Mm -hmm. And we must continue. We right. must continue this Hawaiian music. We mustn't just gravitate towards bringing music in from the mainland and all the pop stars and all that kind of stuff. So I hope guys like you and the, your children and the generation after continue to do it. So very good work. Now I have a question. You're all wearing the same kind of shirt. Who's <laughs> going to tell me what is this shirt? Go, John. Um, Palaka shirt is really known from way, way back. And this, this people in Waiwa used to make it. A store in Waiwa used to make it. Now everybody away in Palaka shirt because it shows the Hawaii. And it's, yeah. it's actually a Hawaiian print now, yeah, right? Yes, I mean, yes, a yes. Palaka shirt is famous. Right. And there, there were some entertainers that Sons made, of Hawaii. The Sons yeah, of Hawaii. They always, always use the Palaka shirt when they perform, and yeah. when they play for parties, right. and when they play for people, a special occasion. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And here you guys are wearing it. And people. I think it's a part of the aura of yeah. what Hawaii is all of, of what Hawaii is all about, and the music, of course, yeah. what it's all about. They have all five different colors of shirts. They have the brown, orange. the red, the black, the blue, the very orange, cool. and the orange. Very yeah. cool. I think I'm going to have to get one, guys, because <laughs> okay. even though even though you made me promise that I can't sing, no, and you made me <laughs> sign, you made no, you me can. sign all over. Seymour, you, Seymour, you could sing. do anything, but you can't <laughs> sing. Right? I know my voice is not. You can play piano, but... I can play piano, but I can play piano. That's your singing right there. Hawaiian music. They have piano in Hawaiian music. I know, I know. And I play sometimes at the rehab and at Shriners Hospital. You know, I'll play because there's pianos there. We need you to sing one more song before we take a break. Could you do that? I can sing Please, go. Okay, go. We can do... Hanalei Moon. Hanalei Moon, okay. Yeah, oh, I love that. by moonlight You will be in heaven by the sea Every breeze Every wave will whisper You are mine Don't ever go away oh, I'm a marriage and family therapist, and I do shrink wrap, which is now going to every other week, all during the summer and maybe forever after. Take care of your mental health this summer. Have a good time. Do what's fun and take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Marianne Sasaki. We just completed another great episode of Life in the Law, and I'm here today with Jay Fidel. Hi, Jay. Hi, Marianne. And what do we love about the law, Jay? There's so much to love about it, right? 
There's more to love about it all the time. Uh, no kidding. We have to be a nation of laws. We have to be a nation of laws, and we have to be a diligent nation of law, of law, law lawyers and citizens. It's all about the rule of law, Mary. Yes. The rule of law is alive and well and life in the law. Yes, it, yes, it certainly is. Tune in every Wednesday from 1 to 1.30 on ThinkTech. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with some beautiful Hawaiian music. John Porlis, Manny, and John are serenading us. It's just beautiful. Continue, guys. On the lay by moonlight, you will be in heaven by the sea. Every breeze, every wave will whisper, you are mine. to dance and I happen to love to dance that is just it's so melodic and so I mean we could just see somebody doing a hula or just moving towards it beautiful songs guys absolutely gorgeous song where did you learn your music John um, back in actually elementary school really now did you play music? Other These, than I percussion started music uh, actually an intermediate I wanted to be a drummer but they had so much competition going on, so I stuck it out playing trombone, actually. No kidding. Playing horn section. Then when I got to high school, I took choir singing. Uh-huh. And I, yeah, then I continued my music from there. Then I took percussion, like, a couple years after that. Studied percussion. So it's been, like, over 30 years already. But it's amazing, because you can come. I know you come to all the hospitals just with this. <laughs> oh, right? yeah. You don't have to come with much more. Just, and yeah. your voice, obviously, Voices and wonderful. some shakers and yeah, whatever yeah, instruments yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. you know. Beautiful. Well. Manny, how about you? When did you start your music career? Oh, when I was uh, actually <clears throat> six years old, playing the ukulele. Yeah. My well. brother my brother was, and my dad they was so unique, my mom. I just started watching him. I just picked up the uke and I just started to play. And then when I went to school, I started to take Polynesian music when I was young. Then I picked it up and then I started drawing friends and we all played together as we were growing up in school. And then the music have you was played? Have you played professionally as well? Oh, uh, no, we never did. You just love so doing it. You just, just love doing it in your backyard, playing slacky, whatever you can, Hawaiian music, make things happy. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Make people yeah. happy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the kids, hopefully my grandkids can pick up the, the um, music, in, you know, intellectually. Well, they uh, have to want to, obviously, yeah. and once they want to and they get to see the pleasure yeah. that it gives them, then hopefully they'll continue with it. Yeah. That's great. How about you, John? Well, uh, my dad used to play music way, way back when I was in the fourth grade. And he used to go down to Monarchy Beach Hotel, where he used to be. Just On the that, Big Island. It's just that hotel way back. Yeah. In, in, uh, in the Big Island. And uh, he had a group, and they, they started playing. But I never got into music until I moved to Honolulu and met these brothers here. Yeah. And that's yeah. how I started playing with John and Manny. So I know this guy is 30 years. 30 years you've yeah. been playing together. 30 yeah. years. That's amazing. Just backyard kind, parties, just full around. It's beautiful. So that's how I started playing music. Just beautiful music. I think it's um, you know the the dedication that you have 
given, not just to my Make Him Smile program, yes. but the dedication you're giving to continue the Hawaiian music is magnificent. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Can we have another song? Yeah. I'll sing this song, Keloha. Please. <clears throat> Ready, one better. <clears throat> yeah. right but that's yeah. your favorite genre of music that you play yeah. just beautiful so tell me what's happened to Hawaiian music has it changed much over 30 years that you guys have been together besides having the iPad to, to, yeah. to, you know, yeah. to see the and everybody got the iPad I, except now. me and you right yeah, except me and you, you. Except me and you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the piano the brain piano brain doesn't help with the iPad yeah. You're right. all in my brain my I iPad. Get a bit of <laughs> So what do you think the, the, the big difference is? I mean, Hawaiian music has become quite famous with Jake Shimabakura and Israel, of course, uh, mm. with his songs and all that stuff. What do you see it? Do you see a difference in Hawaiian music in the last 30 years? The last 30 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of difference. A lot yeah. of difference. A lot, a lot of, of difference. difference. Look at all the people playing ukulele now. Yeah. Roy Sakuma was just awarded a, a special distinguished yeah. award yeah. because he taught so many people yeah. ukulele. Um, I don't know if you know, but we brought some kids, uh, 12 to 18 years old, from Israel, of all places, and that they play, play ukulele. ukulele. Yeah? Oh, yeah, sure, they grown, came here the to play. The instrument has grown all worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. And ukulele, that yeah. is, in my opinion, that is Hawaiian music. Hawaiian you know? music. Mm -hmm. The, the culture, ability, yes. Right. The but, culture yeah. transcends through the music, through the instrument, yeah. to the people. I, I, had right. a, I have a question, because uh, yeah. I played at Roy Sakuma's at the Kapilani Park. Sure. Oh. And the they ukulele have, festival. Yeah, yeah, and they have all these booths on the side where builders build ukulele, Kamaka. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I played with this group that uh, make special kind of ukulele, custom kind, which start from 2000 and up. Oh, wow. And we played, I, we played in there, and what happened, had these four Korean girls from Korea. Wow. They had the ukulele, they came, look at the instrument, so I asked the translator if they can come play with us. And they came down and they played. And man, they, they sang Hawaiian song, oh, harmonized, no. and Isn't everything. That something? That's oh, unreal. Yeah. From people, Korea. Yeah, wow. and all the people yeah. came and watched <clears> us play. <throat> I played with them and I asked her, can you play a, a, a Korean song? And they played a Korean song. Oh, my was, was so nice. But you see what you're saying, John, 
is where music really can be a bridge between all sorts universal of... Language. Yeah, universal language. Yes, it's a universal language, yeah. a bridge between people who may be not too friendly with each yeah, other. That's right. Music yep. is one of those beautiful, that's beautiful right. bridges. It's I, asked the, I asked them who taught you guys. They have this kupuno that goes up there and teach them how to really? sing Hawaiian music. And yeah. I mean... They sound so nice, yeah. harmonized and everything. Well, you know, the, the Sukuma goes to Japan, Japan. he goes yeah. to many different places. Yeah. It's really, Hawaiian music has, has come into its own in the last 20, right. 30 years, I think. And now, because of Jake Shimabakura and some of the other guys mm -hmm. that are out there, it's really become a mainstay. And it's a genre on, on, unto its own. Unfortunately, we're almost up here yep. at Seymour's Thank World, you. so I'm going to ask you to play one more song to take us out, if you don't oh, mind. Wow. And I want to first thank you very you're much for coming thank today. You, you, guys are, yeah, you. you guys are terrific. To you people out there, I hope you've enjoyed Seymour's World. It has been uh, a, a special event for me today because I feel these guys represent so much of what I love in life, which is music. So these guys are going to play one song for you to take us out. Go ahead, you guys. Hawaiian song. Sure. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Uh, song. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little bit a little bit a I'm not 